started the work on crop biofortification in different crops like rice, sorghum, wheat, and pearl millet. So, taking uh, our center taking a, a, a chance to research on pearl millet biofortification. And uh, our center released the two hybrids in collaboration with ICRISET, RSB233 and RSB234, which are the biofortified cultivars. These hybrids have high iron and zinc content, that is the almost double iron than the already existing commercial hybrids. And uh, uh, both the nutrient iron and zinc are higher in these uh, biofortified cultivars along with the high uh, uh, fodder yield and the grain yield. These hybrids will have been developed by using natural genetic variability, not th these are not the GMO products. These hybrid will contribute uh, to nutritional intervention program uh, as a rich, uh, rich source of iron and zinc to reduce the stunting and the anemia in the country. Fortunately, I am the builder of these hybrids and I also have the portfolio of ADR seed. So I try to boost up these hybrids uh, to popularize uh, among the farmers and in this regard we have supplied the builder seed to the RSSC and the NSC and both the agencies are producing the seed in this summer season and the uh, certified seed will be available to the coming Kharif season and our university have also signed one MOU for the commercialization of these biofortified hybrids. Thank you. Sir. Bulbul ke parupar baaz nahi hote कमजोर और भुजदलों के हाथों में राज नहीं होते जिन्हें पड़ जाती है मुड़कर चलने की आदत दोस्तों उन सिरों पर कभी ताज नहीं होते बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद डॉक्टर एलडी शर्मा साहब आपके द्वारा विकसित दो बहुमूल्य किस्में बाजरे की अब मैं आमंत्रित करता हूं डॉक्टर अशोक अलूर डायरेक्टर सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंस गवर्नमेंट ऑफ कर्नाटक फॉर एड्रेस डॉक्टर एस अशोक एस अलूर esteemed uh, dignitaries on the dais, most elite delegates who have joined this wonderful seminar. It's indeed a great pleasure for me to be part of this inaugural session of the National Seminar Come Exhibition on promotion, value addition and export of millets and millet products. Friends, I was just going through the the program that has been worked out by the organizing committee. And they have put a lot of efforts in identifying the entire you know, needs and requirements around millets. And uh, I am very sure at the end of the day, tomorrow, we should have a lot of you know, message that will go back with a message. We will use these you know, deliberations the ideas that we got, get out of this you know, conference or this seminar for designing policies and guidelines in our respective states. As many of my previous speakers spoke, we, if you look at the Indian health scenario, basically after the COVID pandemic, people have become very health conscious. People want to give away everything but never wish to neglect their health. In that regard, if you look at the existing situation in the country, around 25% of the urban women, close to 27% of the urban men, around 41% of the you know, rural women and 38% of the rural men, they are undernourished. This is the situation. In spite of all our efforts across the country, this situation prevails in the country. And again, if you look at the obesity, the overweight, we also have problems with you know, both urban and rural people, around 24% of the rural women, uh, urban women, 16% of the urban men, around 7% of the rural women and about 6% of the rural men, they still suffer the problems of obesity. If you look at the lifestyle diseases, take the example of uh, diabetics. Diabetes too, basically, close to 62.4 million people in India are diabetic. And this is a very, it's increasing in an alarming state. And if you look at the children, okay. children are also not free from several such complaints. Around 10% of the children are adolescent people, they are, you know, pre-diabetic. 
and about 7% of the children, they have the risk of you know, chronic kidney diseases. 4% of the children, they have high cholesterol related issues and about 5% they suffer with high blood pressure. And then if you look at the solutions for all these issues, we have a session on health related you know, advantages brought about by these uh, you know, billets in the afternoon. <coughs> Maybe all the uh, elite uh, researchers will present their findings on that. But what I'm trying to say here is millets are the only solution for all this and addressing all these problems. Again, if you look at the, the environmental factors, the major constraints bothering agriculture, water is one important issue that has really restricted us to go for many other crops. We may have to come back wherever we have gone to paddy and uh, sugar cane, cotton, things like that. A day will definitely come that we'll come back to these millets. So in that regard, all millets, compare them, you, you can look at the chart that is I mean, kept here. So it talks about the superiority of all these millets. They have everything, they are rich in protein, they are rich in fiber, they are rich in potassium, magnesium, carbohydrates, vitamin B1, B2, B3. They are free from gluten. They, have, they are very rich in minerals, phosphorus, calcium. What, what else is required? And then we have to look at this. And this is the right forum to discuss about this. And if you also look at the, you know, the advantages that all these millets bring, not just uh, over the health, and they are basically, they will help this country to ensure food security, nutrition security, you know, bringing or ensuring safety to the people from the diseases. They can also ensure economic security and also environmental security. So in that regard, it is the right forum. This seminar is very optimum, you know, uh, to discuss all these aspects in depth. My only appeal to the organizers and also the participants, at the end of the day, we should go back to our states or our country. We have a friend from Nigeria also here. That the deliberations, the summary that we arrive at the end of the day should become action points in our respective work areas. We have all the you know, government uh, uh, policy makers. Definitely, I will take all the points from here to Karnataka. That I would definitely promise here. But I would request all other people who have come here. So is, these are wonderful discussions. And all the, you know, uh, the, the, the points or the decision points that we arrive at the end of each of the sessions <clears throat> need to be nicely drafted. They need to be shared with the central and state governments, they should become part of the policies in the days to come. We are going to celebrate 2023 as the International Year of Millets. So all this, this is the right time for us to push them in the agenda of the government. And how do we develop a long-term plan for promoting millets? We have several institutional representation here, I have hope. We have friends from IIMR. We have heard the director CFTRI speaking about several, more than 40 technologies around millets. And this should be used for the benefit of the country, for the benefit of the people. I also take this opportunity to congratulate SKN University. They have done wonderful work on pearl millet, you know, uh, promotion, basically developing wonderful varieties and hybrids. And I also take this opportunity that you should promote them, popularize them across the country. So there are a lot of similar situations existing in states like Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, apart from Rajasthan. So these are four or five states which are highly potential in promoting millets. <clears throat> Friends, I look at one important point that should emerge out of this seminar is that we should make up our mind for convergence. We cannot continue to work in a watertight compartment. So knowledge has to be shared. Experiences ought to be shared. And we should pick all those best knowledge and experiences for the benefit of the society, for the benefit of the country. So I cannot say I will not take up this and that. If things are good, I think we should be very open to
take them and then use them in our for the benefit of the society with this i take this opportunity to congratulate skn university india millet initiative i think look at the concern that they have it's a concern out of concern they are trying to do it the idea is to bring all the stakeholders on the similar platform hear them take their knowledge and experiences put them in the form of an action plan and take it back so that's how i once again congratulate them thank them for giving me an opportunity to say few words and uh, i look forward to hear a uh, participate in in other sessions and let us get benefit out of it let us not look at this seminar as a ritual you know we we see several seminars workshops and all that people come sit and go back no let us look at this seminar as a unique and an action oriented a policy oriented seminar and let us take back the best best message to our respective states thank you very much thank you lord sir for your nice and valuable presentation now i would like to invite dr s murli dharan advisor india millet initiative for his presentation dr s murli dharan good morning all of you i take privilege in thanking all the distinguished guests sitting on dais and off dais the media people the researchers the scholars students and the agriculturists and agro techno uh, technopreneurs we are all uh, here to discuss a very very important issue that is haunting the entire world post covid <clears throat> 